developing story out of Pembroke Park. Take a look at the Chopper 4 video from just before noon today. A driver crashed right into a BSO substation office in what appears to be a deliberate act. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is following the investigation and who's here with the latest. Kerry. Elliot, just about an hour or so ago, workers removed that car from the front of this BSO district office. You can still see the hole in the front of this building here. Imagine how frightening this was for the people inside that building uh, just after 11 o'clock this morning. But by many accounts, this could have been much, much worse. Hours after the driver of this red Toyota smashed into the Broward Sheriff's Office District Office building in Pembroke Park, workers removed the car from the front of the building. You know, that, that was a poor lady. Ben Mendez began a new job Monday morning painting the district office. He never could have predicted what would happen just a few hours into his shift. It was a big explosion like dynamite. So we came outside to see maybe if there was a car accident or, or somebody on the roof. But when we walked around on the side, we saw the car in there. And that's when I proceeded to go inside and see if there was anybody hurt. Um, when I went in there, I had to make a split decision, either save her or put the car out. I dragged her out, put, you know, put out all the flames, and then I went back in there, got an extinguisher, and put out the fire in the car. BSO says they're trying to sort out what led the driver to do this. Accelerants were found in the vehicle, so that is part of the investigation. Paramedics rushed the woman to Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood. She received third degree burns of a considerable amount of her body. She was transported as a trauma alert to Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood. BSO says the community room was vacant when the car came smashing through, but on another day, things could have been different. Fortunately, nothing was going on at that time, um, but there's often deputies and the people in the public in that room. Ben Mendez was supposed to paint that room Monday, but there was a last minute change of plans. Instead, Mendez found himself responding to a crisis that left a woman seriously injured. I have grandchildren, so when I see people in need, I, I try to help. At this point, the Broward Sheriff's Office has not released the name of the woman who was driving that car. We are told she remains hospitalized. Live in Pembroke Park, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News.